Hello everybody and welcome to the eighth video in this Python tutorial series. Today we're going to be looking at nested statements. Now nested statements allow us to write statements within statements and how that is done is what we're going to look into right now. So let us start off with an easy example and then build towards what nested statements are. Now I'm going to copy an easy example right into the editor. Um, and we're going to go through it. So let us assume that there is a car dealership, right? And the car dealership is going to be represented by these two lines of code. Um, I've written dealership uh, on top of the corresponding code. So the dealership has a car and the car has the brand Ford. Now below the dealership, there is going to be me represented by this if else function. It's going to be a representation of the decision that I make. And I am willing to buy a car if the brand corresponds to Ford, right? So we have a condition over here, which states that um, if this is true, then I will print out the code um, right brand, right? Because the brand corresponds to the brand that I want to buy. And uh, if the statement is true, then we'll go ahead and print out that. Now, if the dealership offers me a car, which is not a Ford, then it will print out that it is the wrong brand. Let's take a look at an example. Um, I'm going to go ahead and run this right now. And you'll see that the brand of the car over here um, at the dealership corresponds to the brand that I want to purchase. That's why I say that the brand is right. Let us now assume that the brand um, that the dealership has might not be a Ford, but he has a BMW, which is also a nice car, not the one that I'm looking for. And that's why when we run this code, it says that it's the wrong brand. It's not the one I want to purchase because it is not a Ford, this statement uh, this um, condition is false, and that's why it jumps to the else statements and prints out wrong brand. And now let's get into the nested statement. How can we add a nested statement to this? Now, a nested statement allows us to write a statement within another statement. So how could that work in our example? Let us assume that the dealership has the Ford and the color of the Ford is, um, let's say it's gray, right? Let me write that down real quick. And um, then we will move on to remove this line of code and nest the next if statement by saying that if the brand is Ford and then if the color of the Ford is equal to blue is equal to blue then I'm going to print out the following code print um, right brand and right color right so I need the um, I need it to be a Ford and I want it to be blue and otherwise, if that is not the case, um, if the color does not correspond to blue, then I want to write else and print out that the uh, color is not the color that I want by saying that it is the right brand, but wrong color. All right, so let's think about what we have here. So first off, where is the nested statement? The nested statements that we have are these statements because these two statements, this if-else pair is within another if-else pair. So now what happens is that um, if I run this code, it's gonna say that the car that the dealer has, which is a gray Ford, is the right brand but the wrong color. 
because the color that I wanted uh, the four to be is blue. So now let's say that um, a little uh, that the dealership actually um, maybe resprays the car or purchases another Ford or somehow finds a blue Ford. So now the brand of the Ford corresponds to the brand that I want and the color of the Ford is also the color that I want it to be, right? Blue. So let's go ahead and run this nested if uh, else statement and we'll see that it prints out that it is the right brand because it is indeed the Ford that I want to buy and it is the right color because it is blue which is also uh, the color that I want it to be. Now remember, as I said earlier, this sort of represents the um, decision process that I go through, right? So this is sort of an exemplary, um, uh, a bit of an example to get the point across, right? All right, so now we see that um, how nested statements work. Let's try and add one more element to this example. Let us now assume that the um, color doesn't necessarily need to be blue, I might also be fine with the color red. So how could we accommodate for this preference of mine? I could, for example, say um, elif, remember this uh, statement that we learned in the prior tutorials. Um, there's going to be a link to the if, elif, and else tutorial in the comments below. Uh, down in the description, I mean. So go check that out if you've uh, forgotten what the elif is. And I'm going to say that elif, um, the color, is equal to, let's say, red, then I will also print out that it is the right brand and the right color. So now let's go ahead and think about this um, code again. Let's say that the dealership has a Ford, which is, um, let's say it's red now, right? So if we go ahead and run this, oh, hold on. Oh, I made a typo over here. Uh, you'll see that I wrote colo instead of color, uh, but now it should work out and it does. And it prints out that the dealership that the car has, which is a red Ford, corresponds um, in brand and in color. So it says right brand and right color, right? So what happens here is in the first if statement, we're looking at the brand of the car at the dealership, right? And we're checking whether that corresponds to our preference. And in the next uh, nested statement, we're checking whether the color corresponds to what we want, right? So let's um, go through one final example, and let's say that we have a gray. No, we'll just have a. We'll have a. We'll have a. Uh, let's say we'll have a BMW again. BMW, which is blue. So now the color would theoretically be okay, but the brand. Um, is not the one that I want to purchase. So we'll see that if we run this, it says, okay, um, it is the wrong brand. So right now, if we run through line by line again, we'll see that in the first if statement, uh, the condition over here returns a false. So Python skips through all of this. The colors don't matter anymore because the brand doesn't matter in this uh, if statement, right? So Python jumps through all of this because it is uh, this condition over here at the top is false and moves on to this else statement down here and prints out that is the wrong brand. Now, that's it for this tutorial. Um, I hope that it helped you out learning about nested statements. If it did, make sure to leave a like and uh, subscribe to stay up to date with the newest in this Python for beginners series and I'll catch you in the next episode. Bye.